Okay, now let's look at this question. When you have to solve for inequality on absolute value or modulus. Right, this is a tutorial question again. Chapter 1 for G where you have to solve 3 absolute value of X plus 1 which is less than equivalent to absolute value of X plus 2. Now, again, there are two methods to solve for absolute value inequality, whether you have to square both sides or you do by definition. For this question, you can do both, right? You can do by squaring both sides or by definition. Just that by squaring both sides, not all absolute value can actually do that, all right, for the inequality. So make sure you know when to use it. But, there is a but for it. Again, a big mistake happened that most students do is that. So, what you guys do is that you take the whole thing, alright. But then, you want to eliminate the absolute value. What you did is you simply put it as plus minus by x plus 2. Again, it is a big no-no. Because this is not an equation. This is an inequality. Inequality is different than it. Equation. So the equation definition, yes, you can do plus minus, but not for inequality. Alright? Even though you get the same answer, it's just that coincidence. Alright? But not the case for every every kind of absolute value inequality. Alright? So first thing, if you want to do this, is that to eliminate your absolute value, so what you do is that do square both sides because square both sides here you can do it because both known are to be positive. So that is the first thing when you want to do square both sides. Check both are positive because the 3 is positive. Absolute value will give you positive number. Another right hand side absolute value is another positive number. So what you can do is that you square both sides. So both side to eliminate the absolute value. So you have 3 x plus 1 square everything square and then it will be less than equivalent to x plus 2 square then it's just a quadratic you expand it and simplify you're going to get 9 this is x square plus by 2 x plus by 1 and this is x square plus by 4 x plus by 4 and then simplify make now for Non-linear inequality, again, you have few steps that you have to follow, which is the first one is just a revision. The first one, your right-hand side becomes zero. Second is that you factorize completely. And then the third one is that you do graph or sign table. Then you solve. So over here, you have a left-hand side and right-hand side, but your right-hand side is not 0. So to make it 0, you will have 9x squared minus by x squared, you will get 8x squared. And then 9 multiplied by 2, 18 minus by 4, you will get my plus by 14x. Then 9 multiplied by 1, 9, 9 minus by 4, you will get plus 5 less than equivalent to 0. Now from here, you can actually factorize. Now again, you can use a calculator, you will get... 2x plus by 1 and then 4x plus by 5 and then now for quadratic equation for the nonlinear part you can actually do graph also you can do sign table sign table but i would use graph which is a graph of quadratic and then so you have two roots or two zeros there are two roots which is all the zeros would be negative half and then another one is negative 5 over by 4 so which one is smaller? The smaller part is actually negative 5 over by 4. So put it here, negative 5 by 4. Then this is negative half. Then uh, what you do is that because uh, the upper part of the graph will be having plus and the below part of the, the x-axis will be negative. So to solve it, what you want is the less than equivalent. So you will take the negative part. So the final answer, you will have your x basically belong to negative 5 over by 4 until negative 1 over by 2. Now, over here, it is a closed bracket because you have the equivalent sign. So that is your final answer. Again, don't make the same mistake, which is this one, where you put the plus minus part. Okay, again, it's for equation only. It's a no-no. Okay?